Hi everyone, Rich Kratzer from DIY Home and Lawn Care of My Estate. I got my Sunday best on and it's late in the evening, which only means one thing. We're going to go ahead and toast some crabgrass. I got some issues going on in the lawn that I'm sure a lot of people are experiencing right now. Let me show you the lawn and I'm going to show you how I'm going to take care of it. Lawn looks pretty good. Everything looks good from afar, but I do have a major issue with this side along the driveway. I got big spots of crabgrass coming in. I've put my pre-emergent on. I've been putting my post-emergence, keeping my dandelion, my clover, some of my broadleaf weeds in check. I've been spoon feeding fertilizer about every 30 days and the lawn's been looking really good. But just recently, we've probably had about a week to two weeks without rain. It really got hot. I didn't, didn't mow as much because I didn't want to stress the lawn out. I brought the height to cut up to about four, four and a quarter inches. And guess what happened? Like I just showed you, the crabgrass is really starting to take hold. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to hopefully combat this but it also has to do with the timing it's late evening it's about seven o'clock in the summer perfect time to spray also the temperature is 80 degrees or below also i have not mowed this in approximately four days and it's going to be another two to three days before i go ahead and mow when you put this application on it's really important that you don't mow for two days before and after applying the application. I have the tractor set up already. I normally don't do this with the front end loader on. For any of you guys that have a subcompact or compact tractor, you know what I'm talking about. So this is a sprayer I use, it's a 25 gallon tank sprayer. I have a video set up about the sprayer. One thing that I like to do, because I do use this sprayer for many different applications, is I like to put about a couple gallons of water in without the herbicide that I'm going to be using and I do a test run along the on the asphalt of the driveway the amount of application you put down obviously is depends upon the type of herbicide or the pressure how fast I'm driving and how far I want this to, to spray out to each side I'm gonna go ahead and uh, probably put about five gallons in and then I'm gonna make a test run Sure. I'm gonna make a test pass and we're gonna see how much coverage I actually get with the sprayer. So it does look pretty good, but there is a line on the outside that does not seem to be covering. Now I could overlap, but I will adjust those nozzles so I get a better coverage. So I use a lot of products out there, including the Roundup for lawns, but when you have a larger front lawn, maybe a half an acre and up, you have to be a little more economical or your approach has to be a little more economical. 
Roundup for lawns does kill crabgrass. I did not see where it kills nut sedge unless I'm wrong. I've also used the Trimex. You can get this at a lot of big box stores. You have to make sure it says plus crabgrass killer. I've had mixed results with this, but I did find something that I think is even better. This is Q4 Plus. The reason I like this is because it has three ingredients which are very good. They're very effective on killing crabgrass and nut sedge. One is 2,4-D, which I use earlier in the year. The second is dicamba. And the third is quinclorax. It's going to take about 50 to 55 ounces per 25 gallons. I've seen some guys online in the reviews, they've used it's as low as 45 ounces to 50 gallons. What they call for in the mixture is seven to eight pints per acre. Now, my front lawn is approximately an acre and three quarters to two acres. And for cool season, now this is all cool season, you'd want to use about 2.6 to three ounces per thousand square feet. If I did the math right, I should be at about 55.2 ounces. I'm going to mix up about 50 ounces of this mixture in 25 gallons. So I'm, I have enough here to at least do half of the front lawn, and that's the part that's affected the most. And the one thing I always like to do is, and I'm sure a lot of you know from experience, I always take the hose nozzle off when I'm filling this up. A lot of these herbicides will foam up in your tank sprayer they get agitated and when you use your spray nozzle it starts foaming out and you're not getting your full tank of a solution i'm going to start filling this up mixing the solution and then i'm going to put my secret additive in and a lot of you already know what that is if you watch roundup for lawns killing crabgrass water's going in i'm going to start measuring out my solution. We're gonna let that fill up to about 25 gallons. You remember, surfactant. This will break down the waxy coating on the nut sedge and crabgrass. Just need to put a little in, doesn't take much. That should be enough. Ah, a little more for extra luck. All right, just gotta wait till this fills up. Let's get spraying.
I finished spraying half of the front lawn. So we'll check back in about two to three days and we'll see if it's actually killing some of the crabgrass and the nut sedge that seems to really be infesting the left side of my front lawn. There's a couple quick things I want to point out. Q4 I bought online. I, I purchased it through uh, Do My Own. Um, I don't get paid for mentioning this product, but you can go online and look at the reviews. Uh, I think there's over 100 reviews, and I believe over 90 of them are four and a half to five stars. Comparing it to a lot of the other items that you can buy over the counter at the big box stores, this product works very well. The other thing I'll mention is that when you put this product down, it's rain fast within four to six hours. It's also pet safe. Once this product dries on the turf, you can have a, your, your dog or family member actually go in the grass with no fear that they're going to be picking up any of that herbicide. So that's also very important. And the last thing I'll mention is the, another reason why you like to apply this at the end of the day. Not only is the lawn less stressed during the heat of the day, but it's very easy to see where you're driving and where you're putting the application down and making sure that you're overlapping that application so you don't see in a week to two weeks, it looks like you have candy cane stripes going down your lawn. Let's check back in about two to three days, we should see the crabgrass starting to turn purple. And then within about five days, it should start turning brown. And within seven to 10, it should be completely dead. The results are in. I'm going to show you a close-up view of the of the crabgrass and the dying stages of the crabgrass. But I will tell you right now, if you just look over my shoulder, it probably killed about 90 to 95 percent of the crabgrass. The grass, though, does not look that good because we have not had rain in the last two weeks. Hence, I have not mowed the lawn for the last two weeks. Let me show you some close-up views of the crabgrass in the different phases of it dying. And then you can see for yourself the results and the success that I feel that I'm getting from this product. Here's a good example. This is all dead. This plant does have some purple on it and it is dying and you can see that this actually has some dead growth on it so these plants I'll probably check out this one obviously it's toast so here's one plant right here and you can see it's really dying it's pretty much dead and then if I just pan back, the plants that didn't die yet are in the process. And you can see here on the leaves, they're turning purple. And the base of the plant is actually dying. So I would say that's very successful. So like I said, probably got about a 90, 95% success rate. Impressed with the results. Value wise, you know, a hundred bucks so I can get it under control to me as well worth it, especially with the size of the front lawn that I have. I purchased this through Do My Own. It's called Q4 Plus. It's a turf herbicide. It's for grassy and broadleaf weeds, yellow nut sedge. It's a, a post-emergent obviously not a pre-emergent. I'd love to see if any of any of the viewers or anybody watching this video, if they use this product and what success they had, please feel free to send me a comment. I, like I always say, you know, probably didn't find this entertaining, but hopefully it was somewhat informational. And with that, you should at least give me a thumbs up because I could always do this work without filming and get it done a lot faster without giving you some valuable tips. I'd like to thank you again for watching, and with that, I'll catch you on the next one.